Music is one of the most expressive forms of art. A melody of few notes can express so many feelings that sometimes it's hard to believe it. Now, a song that starts with such a melody. It is probably composed to express a feeling of sadness, pain and suffering. This song is an Italian song called Bella Ciao, which means goodbye beautiful girl or goodbye beauty. Bella means beautiful and ciao means hi, hello, but also goodbye. It's a sad song that was sung on many occasions throughout Italian history. And even though it's a beautiful melody, it does carry a lot of, you know, pain and suffering. The most popular version of this song was sung by the anti-fascist resistance movement during the World War II. And when you think of this particular contest, Bella Ciao, Goodbye Beautiful Girl, sounds pretty sad. It was sung by the Italian partisans who had to go to war to defend their territory. And when you listen to the song and you translate the lyrics, you realize that, you know, it's a song about war and death. Now we're going to analyze this version in A minor, which is really, really popular. And we're gonna talk about the chord progression, the melody, and how to make it sound beautiful and expressive. Now, one thing that I love about the melody is the fact that it's so simple, yet it sounds beautiful. So we're gonna start with the first five notes. <laughs> So we're playing over an A minor chord and we have the front number two, two, open, one, and back to the G string. So we are literally arpeggiating the A minor chord. And then we repeat the same phrase but one octave higher. So I'm playing the top E string open and on the B string I'll be playing the fret number 10, 12, 13 simultaneously with the top E string and back to the front number 10. Now you want to make sure that the top E string rings out while we play in the melody on the B string. And then we'll go back to position number one and we play the melody which is beautiful. Now we're going to add the uh, chords to the melody, but let's just learn the melody first. So we are still arpeggiating the notes of the chord. So the fret number two, and then fret number two on the G string, B string open, and the fret number one, B string open, and the G string fret number two. And we'll repeat the same phrase. And then we finish with the top E string open three times. Now, when I add the uh, bass note, I have the A string open and then the D string. Then I change the bass and I play the low E string for number three and then the D string with the thumb.
Then I'm gonna play the F sharp on the low E string fret number two. And I'm playing the low E string fret two and the top E string open, the G string, and then simultaneously the B and the top E string. And then the G string again, and I finish with this beautiful E major chord. So, and then I keep going with the melody. So I have now a different uh, chord progression. So it starts with the top E string open and the B string fret three and the top E string open. We're still playing the melody. And then the D minor chord. So just put down the fret number two and the fret number one. We're only picking three strings, the D string, the G string and the top E string with thumb index and ring. Then the A string and the D string. And then the melody. Fret number one, open, and the fret number three. And then the A minor chord. Beautiful and simple. We have still the same two notes, fret number two and the fret number one. The bass note is now the fifth string open. We pick the fifth, third, and first string. And then the first string opens simultaneously with the G string for number two. Low E string and the A string. And the two notes of the melody on front number three and one. And we finish with the E major chord. Now I'm playing the E major like this, the D string for number two and the G string for number one. I'm gonna keep the middle finger free. So I'm using the third finger and the first finger. And I'm picking the sixth, the fourth, the third, and the second string. E string open. And then I'm gonna put down the B string for number one and pick the sixth, fourth, third, and second. And the B string open. And I finish with the A minor chord. So I'm playing fifth and third string, the fourth and the second. So this intro is really just about being as expressive as possible. There is a lot of over ringing and I try to really emphasize the notes of the melody. So really take it step by step and move on to the next section. When you feel ready, we're gonna add a little bit of rhythm. So it's going to be a little bit more challenging. Now the second section is way more rhythmic and the first chord is the A minor chord and it sounds like this. So you wanna put down the A minor chord and the melody is still the same. But this time we're gonna have the bass note simultaneously with the B string and then the uh, D string and the G string together low E string the chord again and back to the A string so and then the melody again and then the melody and then we have So we have the bass note going on the A and the E string, A and the E string. We start with the thumb and middle, then the index, and then thumb and middle, and the index, and then we repeat. And then we have. The melody now is uh, played on the top E string, so we have to play the A string open and the top E string with thumb and ring, the G string, low E string and top E string, the G string, and again A and E. One more time slowly. Now 
Now the melody is going to be played on the top E string, the B string fret number 3, and the top E string open, and we change the chord. Now we keep the same rhythm here, the thumb will be plucking on the D string, A string, and D string, okay? So you want to put down the D minor chord and play uh, fret number 2, 3, and 1. Now it's important that you understand how to pick the strings here. So you have the 4th and 1st, and then the 2nd and 3rd um, simultaneously, the A string, and then 2nd and 3rd, and then the D string. So. And then we have the melody on the fret number one open and the fret number three on the B string and then we play the A minor. Same rhythm this time over a different chord the A minor just put down the two two and one hit the basic A minor chord and we pick the A string and E string and then the G and B. Low E string G and B a string and G and B and then we have the last chord so the melody is on the B string for number one twice and we have this nice and beautiful arpeggio now the thumb is gonna go on the low E string and D string for number two and we're going to start with the middle finger, so start thumb and middle, index, thumb and ring, index, and thumb and middle with the B string for number one, index, thumb and middle, and index. So. finish with the A minor chord. Now we can repeat this section twice and you can play it even slightly faster if you want. Now we're moving towards the end of the song so we're gonna play the D minor again. And then we're gonna play the melody one octave higher. So we play the bass note and on the top E string for number 13, 12, 10. And we play the A minor chord. With this beautiful arpeggio. So the fifth string open, for number um, 13, 12, and eight. And then the fret number 10. 9, 10, and 7. And then we have the last chord. Um, the melody is on the top E string for number 8. We have this beautiful E major on fret 7, G and E string. 12. And then 9 and 8, 7, 7. And the A minor arpeggio on 5, open, 1, 2, 2, 3, and open. Such a beautiful, melodic, and sad melody. I just love it. And it is quite rhythmic, but it still has this suddenness in it. So beautiful. I'm going to let you practice this. Uh, you can get the tab if you want. It's on my Patreon page. Just check it out if you need it. Otherwise, just enjoy this tutorial and learn this beautiful Italian song. Now, I'm going to talk to you next time in another video. Have a lovely day and enjoy this lesson.